try to get the, uh, the, the web content on. Yes. I was just going to, I mean, this is such, that, the, the questions that are being asked are, I mean, how do you start the discussion? It's such a hot topic. You're either, you know, you have, well, it, it, it's like we, abortion. You know, when you talk to somebody that you don't agree with, the first time they understand that you don't agree with where they're coming from, they explode on you. Well, it's, you know, we have to let everyone know that we're pro-immigration. We support a healthy immigration process, but it has to, it has to, uh, we have to know who's here. We have to account for everybody. Well, then what do you do with the 14 to 20 million that are already here? You say they're trapped. I yeah. say they're here breaking the law. Yeah, well, whether they're breaking the law or not, a lot of them have children who are here legally and well, they're trapped. that's not necessarily true. Man. Well, it, it, today it's true. No, that's sir. Not not, it's not. Not according well, to the way the amendment was written. Okay, so these are these are questions that need to be brought up, and legislate, legislation needs to address these things. Um, and, and this is what we're here for. We're here to bring this dialogue out. It's not wrong to talk about it. It's not wrong to, to, to disagree. But um, we have to be willing to at least discuss it, and that's what we're that's what we're doing now. I want to let me finish my, my uh, oh, yeah, presentation because I know we're on a time a time schedule, but. We'll talk more about it, and anyone else who wants to talk, we can talk all, all day. Uh, so how, how does someone get involved? How do you participate? Our website, gopisforme.com, uh, allows you to uh, sign up uh, as an individual. So no matter where you are, you can sign up. You become a member on our site. It doesn't cost you a penny. And, and you're tied into a network. On our site, you can assign yourself to different groups. You can become active, you can join the block walking group, the call bank, you know, phone banking, you can do whatever you want on our site. Uh, and, and individually, that is a great way to participate. Others, and maybe in Falls County, uh, might be interested in developing a club. And the club is a, um, a long-term commitment that uh, would be a, a, a base for people to build a Hispanic um, Republican club. And so uh, that's how to participate. If, if you're interested in getting involved in, in actually converting this, this Hispanic community and bringing them to the party. So uh, another thing, the Hispanic community, we don't have uh, adequate representation within the party. Uh, and we need to be encouraging and supporting strong Hispanic candidates to elected office. That's kind of hard to do, uh, it seems like sometimes, but. There's a lot of Hispanic leaders out there that we need to start asking to get involved and, and to lead. Um, now, uh, this here is, is what it's all about. We have, we have to make the connections. We have to, I have to know that Tom's in Bosque, uh, you know, we've got uh, Frank and Navarro. Uh, we have to connect the dots. We've got, no one else is going to do it for us, and it's never been done, so... This is all kind of groundbreaking uh, and how we organize, but it's the commitment that we make to ourselves to get involved and make a difference that matters. And if you leave here today um, thinking, well, you know, that, that's something we ought to get into. We need to look into how we're going to do that in our county. That's what, that's what we want to um, um, have, you, have you leave with. But, um, you, you know, uh, I want to say, before I, I bring Janet back up, um, we have great leadership in, in our district, and we're real fortunate to, uh, to have, you know, Brian and, and, and Bill Flores and, and these, uh, the, the leaders, the county chairman. And I feel confident that um, the Hispanic movement within our party is, is, is headed in the right direction. And we need, you know, we need support. We need, we need uh, the different counties to begin participating. And when you do, go to the website, make contact, and we will be in touch. Thank you very much. I need, I need each and every one of you to take this to heart because this is so important and this is so necessary for our immediate future. Um, to let you know how Duke and Tony and the group are on the right track, the RPT has a new outreach director, Justin Hollis, who is just absolutely blown away by what they're doing. 
There are other groups working in the state, the Latino National Republican Congress, the RNHA, and other Hispanic conservative clubs. Uh, Justin and Steve Munisteri just last Friday told me that none of them are doing the work that Duke Machado, Tony Abad, and their group are doing. So I commend them and I ask you, don't leave them out hanging on their own. You don't have to just yourself do it because most everybody in this room is already overburdened with their volunteer work. But be cognizant of someone in your area or in your club that you can direct to Tony. That's how we met Linda. I was, um, she had asked someone at the VA that there was nowhere to go for conservative Hispanics and I just talked to the gentleman the day before and he said, oh here, call Janet. She called me and I said, no, here, call Duke. The connection was made and now she's one of the leaders of the education process, so please take this to heart. This is one of the most important things in the party. Moving along. Thank you.